is Patrick with Carolinas Today, editor here, bringing you the Ergodyne number 6010 lightweight tent with a 10 by 10 span on it. I believe this will stretch upwards of 14 feet uh, tall. And it comes with one conveniently wheeled storage bag, one sunshade canopy, one tenacious steel frame, four stakes, and guy lines. So what I'm going to do is back the camera off a little bit here. And we are going to put this together here in the shop. That way, when we get it out to the range and or to a job site, it will be in a it'll be a lot easier to uh, set up as the majority of it will be done. So we're going to go ahead and walk through this now. As you can see, I have a hand truck here as an extra set of hands just to hold this up. Comes in an unopposing cardboard box. You can see exactly what it is. Um, beyond that, UPS dropped ours off and uh, shipping weight is 42 pounds. A um, little bit of a struggle by yourself getting it in, so I'd recommend having two people get it or somebody with those gloves with the grippy things on it because uh, cardboard after you've messed with it long enough, you slide on it. So just for safety, get the grippies or a second person. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Actually, we're going to keep it here for just a minute. We're going to open it up. Now they have two different models of this tent. They have the lightweight one and then they have the heavyweight one. Uh, if you go on their website, which is also not in the box, it's in the description right here. Their website, you can see the different variants and models that they have this along with some other equipment that they have. Um, everything is safety oriented. And this here, as it says, is a sunshade canopy that gives you a lot of extra height, um, a lot more than some of the other ones that are on the market do. And uh, anyway, they're out of Minnesota, so uh, shacks, portable work shelters. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box. I'm going to lay this down. And start here the way handle. All right. Oh man, no chiclets in the box. Anyway, nothing in there. Okay, there we go. Ergodyne.com. Phone number 800-225-8238 if you'd like to order one of your own. Alright, outer pocket, that is going to be the canopy. Okay, so we're actually going to leave that in there for right now. And if you read on the website, they've actually got the storage bag, if you notice, kind of, kind of loose here. There's enough room in here to where you can leave the canopy or the frame and stick it in the bag and then tote it that way. That way your setup is a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, that's what I'm going to do here because if it's a little windy out at the range, which most of the time there is a little bit of a breeze, um, it's going to save a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of headaches if things are set up as much as possible when you get there. So let's go ahead and open it up. Where is the zipper? Okay. The zipper is all the way at the bottom. There's wheels here so you can roll it around with some stands as you saw it was standing up on its own. Now this is the first time this has come out. 
so there's no trick photography or anything here. All right. I'm going on a hunch here that says you're supposed to stand it up. And then lift. And I think that was correct. All right. Now, we're going to take off all these little pieces here. You're just there to protect them while well, it's in the package, shipping. I see some Velcro, I see stainless steel hardware, I see powder coated steel, all signs of something that's designed to last for a long time and be very durable. So, all right, here's the first batch. No, I'm not going to do it because I know somebody's going to say, look at that, he's so big, he's got you know what. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Take a look at the feet. All right, I see feet, I see pull pins. I believe they're the spring-loaded height adjusters. Very, very nice feet, I will say. I have owned several um, lesser quality push-up tents like this, I've gotten a lot of use out of them. Uh, most of them did not have welded steel feet. This has actually got a foot plate on here with a hole in it, which most of the ones I've dealt with have always been plastic. So, I'll go ahead and flip this back over again. I don't see any straps or anything holding anything anywhere. So it looks like it just kind of compresses down for a nice package here. All right. See at what point should we put the tent on or the canopy on here? Looks like all oh, this is gotta be pretty self-explanatory. And as I was hoping for, some instructions. They're in the pouch on the front of the carrier. Put the canopy. So Spread the canopy over the frame, and fold the frame, spread the canopy out over the frame, fasten the hook and loops. Alright, if you've ever set one of these up before, it's pretty easy. Now, Ogre Dine, as I said, they do it, their business is based on safety. Safety yellow, by all means. So, let's see how this is going to go. Alright, okay, that's the middle.
this thing, I bet when the sun hits it, you'll be able to see it from orbit. Now the underside is kind of a shiny silver. I'm assuming that's something to do with heat resistance. Let me double check my focus again here. Alright, focus looks good. part here to go to the prickly part here. That was easy. Same thing over here. And it's got like a got like a little spot here so you can see it. Now it's all sewn in there and it's not on the outer layer, it's actually an inner flap that's here. And I'm just putting my fingers at the top of it, lining it up, and just running my thumb down it. And it seems to work pretty easy. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn it again. That way the logo shows here. that side. doing this as one person, you know, this is a video that the company has on there, they've got two people doing this, that would make it a lot easier. In a pinch though, I think you could probably set this up one person, and uh, I think one person can manage this. It's not absolutely um, hard to do. At a certain point, you will need a second person. So, I just wanted to verify that. I'm about an inch away from where this lock is. 
So there's one lock. Now I'm readjusting as the bars go up to make sure nothing gets pulled too tight. Here in a minute, I'll go ahead and show what's going on inside. So now that that's good. All right, go go ahead and pull everything back here. Now we're gonna go for a little walk here. All right, this is what inside of it's looking like right now. Okay, we've got. These straps here are the, uh, I guess the guy lines tie up here. The Velcro, the scrubby, or the bristly part on the poles, and then the fuzzy part actually on the fabric. You see everything is double stitched. Very nicely put together. Stainless steel hardware. And there's strapping here for getting the, uh, fabric nice and taut there's the center part it's got a nice um, square double stitch um, and then on the uh, frame itself this is a plastic pieces here let me switch this to autofocus so you can see what I'm looking at all right this part here all right that's not working too well All right, uh, all right. Camera's not wanting to cooperate, but that part right there, okay. It's got stainless steel hardware on there. It's got the four joints that, or it's got the four pieces that go into it here. There's got to be a way to get this damn thing to autofocus on that. All right. But anyway, the top side of it here is nice and smooth. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the film on this real quick so I can get these other tie straps on here tied up. So, back in a second. Alright, we're back. Now, I've adjusted the height on here up to, I'm guessing, about 6 feet. And you can see it's got these little legs down here that it's got the pins on the legs. There we go. Now it's got these pins on the legs. They're just pull pins. They got these rings on them. You pull them out and it'll allow the inner part of the leg to adjust up and down and there's the feet so comes up here to that there we go ah it's great when things work the way you want them to and you can go up here and it's got some ties on here you can put your guy lines on here. And it's got a uh, it's got a loop on here. Turning my there we go. It's got a loop on there, and that's stitched and double stitched, and even the, where the webbing goes into it, it's got a very very strong stitch to it. But we went through and we went and did all the loops. It's got the hook and loop fastener on each side and on each arm. We went ahead and tightened all those up. 
and uh, it will adjust up to, I believe the video said 14 feet. I'm not going to do that in here as I don't have the ceiling height in here to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and take it down and put it back in the bag and uh, take it from there. All right, and this is what it looks like just before it goes into the bag. You pull those four pins that were in the top of it underneath the canopy itself. And then it collapses down to go into the bag. And uh, we'll go ahead and show that step next, or actually the completion of that step next. All right, and there it is. Packed up, ready to go. A very very versatile piece of equipment for your job site or at the range. Now it does have the package here of guy lines and spikes. There's the guy line and your spikes. So we're on concrete here, so we're not going to set that up. Anywho. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this in here, put this in the pouch in the front, which is where the canopy was originally stored at when you first got it. And there you go. Uh, literally, from initial unboxing to uh, getting it set up, making sure everything was nice and taut on it, um, all the way to, back down to putting it back in the bag, I'd say it was probably... Um, 20 to 30 minutes and that was completely by myself with no help from the outside um, not that you would need it um, but I try to do things here on my own to show that if you are by yourself uh, it, it can be done um, even though in the video that the Ergodyne has on their website it shows two people doing it which would um, when you watch the video it makes it look even that much easier but by doing it by myself actually it was not that difficult at all. The fabric fit right onto the um, onto the frame. Uh, it wasn't like trying to some of the cheap ones you buy in the big box stores. They they just don't fit right, or you got to stretch them and hope they don't tear and whatnot. This fit beautiful. There was enough extra slack in there so that when you open the frame up all the way, everything got nice and snug. Um, but definitely would look at this um, as being an option. They're uh, at Ergodyne.com, or you can call them at 800-225-8238. Um, their website was just displayed here. Um, they'll also be in the description and the credits at the end. And uh, be sure to check them out and their other safety products that they have to offer. And don't forget to check out uh, Carolinas Today, the online digital or the digital tactical magazine. Um, and DVD Tactical, your place for tactical accessories and covert and overt body armor. Also, got to give a shout out to Gunworks. All right, that's been the Argodyne number 6010. Get yourself one. See you on the range.